WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. And we've got uh, most of the indices are trading to the downside. What's up with that? You got the Dow off 142. The s and P's down two. The Russell, uh, Nasdaq's down three. The Russell's down seven. The semis are down nine. So not a significant movement to the downside, with the exception being the uh, Dow. You got gold trading up four bucks. Silver's up 19 cents. That's nearly one percent. Light to be crude up a buck 78. Two and a half percent there. Natural gas off four pennies. That's testing a prior swing point. Perhaps it's a bottom signal out there. And the 30-year Treasury down one point. Printed out at uh, 119.23. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini upper left-hand side. Yesterday was a Rhodes momentum, Rhodes momentum indicator top. That was a bearish shooting star candle. Now, typically, shooting star candles either work right away or they don't. At this stage here, they haven't worked right away. Now, they haven't taken out the high of yesterday. That high is at 48.98.25. A close above that would negate that signal and suggest to move up to 49.44.50. Spot volatility index is a trading below yesterday's a low out there. So that's a bearish signal for it. That would be a bullish signal for the S&P 500. The NQ, a doji candle yesterday, a doji candle as we speak right now, kind of indicating that perhaps the market is getting tired out there, but still no top in place out there. Now, if we did get a bearish reversal candle today, that would generate a Rhodes-Mentum indicator top as well. If you take a look at that U.S. dollar index, it's attempting to break out, and I believe that the breakout is going to go ahead and be real out there. Going to be real because I took a look at the euro. We'll do that during the Trader Z show. It's not getting shellacked. It's getting shellacked out there, and I don't see any bottom signals. But we'll take a look at all those charts and take a look at that for sure. Goldilocks is struggling to get in, into back into its profile. In order to do that, you need to see a close above 20, 28.70. That U.S. dollar index is going to get stronger, which at least my initial indications are it's going to. We ought to see gold go ahead and make that A to B equals CD to the downside. First price projection level, 1986.40. Uh, silver is doing that. You've got a nice rally today. It's still below the TD9 count breakout level. Uh, 21.34 is its destination, or at least its initial price destination. Light sweet crude, Trying to break out, trading nicely. We are taking a look at the March contract out here, but it's trading into its sell zone. And that's between 75.48 and 77.52. As I mentioned, natural gas testing a swing point. Again, this is a March contract from back on December, December 13th to be specific. Boy, you close below 2.098 today. It's curtains for the natural gas contract. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you have to start your Tuesday, have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.